I am here with artist Ben Templesmith, and he is he is <clears throat> looking excited to do this interview. So, <laughs> oh, I love TV interviews. <laughs> How is the con treating you? Pretty good. And and so, are you getting? I mean, you have your own. You have your own. So this is your. <laughs> I love Minton Three. Minton Three dot com. <laughs> Send him insults. So you are your. This is your studio. This is this is uh, this where is everything studio. is great. This, this is not your. This studio? is a booth at a con. This is a booth at my a studio, con. My studio is in a building. Your studio is in a building yeah, in, Chicago. in Chicago. So you're very local. This was this was I nothing for you. This was no trip. You didn't have to fly oh, over. It's about thirty minute drive. But thirty minute drive for you. Okay. Good traffic. What what's the reception been like? Have you had a lot of it's people coming up? Do you? I mean, do you find it's a that? Hometown show. It's great. It's your, it's your hometown show. So well, Chicago is a very comic city, really. Oh, absolutely. A lot of creative people here in comics in the industry, and a lot of fans and a lot of comic book shops. So. Absolutely. And there's a lot of. We were just going up and down Artist Alley, and there's a lot of aspiring artists. What I mean, no, if you no 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 no. There's no such thing as an aspiring artist. You either are one or you're not. Anyone who can even draw a stick figure is an artist. Talk about that a little bit. A professional artist versus non-professional. All right, talk a little more about that. I'm, I'm that's very I familiar. That. Oh, yeah, that's, I mean, like... You can aspire to be an astronaut, but you'll never be an astronaut until you're an astronaut. But it, you, if you can draw anything, you're already an artist. There's no aspiration. The only aspiration is to be professional in it and to master the art. So, so the, the key is being paid to, for your craft. If you want to be a professional artist. That's yes. the professional part, right? Yeah, or you can die in obscurity and never earn a dime off your paintings or drawings. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's my plan. My but plan is to die in obscurity. Did, even if they did, they would not be an aspiring artist. Okay. They'd just be a non-professional artist. So an aspiring artist, artist an aspiring artist is just somebody who just thinks they're going to be an artist all yes. day long and then never does anything. Yes. All right, well, that's good. That's Which is very few people. Okay. Right. It's a point of contention I pick with many people. <laughs> Uh, my name is Dave Stewart. Dave Stewart. Okay, Dave, Dave tell us a little bit about War Comics, why you guys are here. <laughs> well, Lion Forge and War Comics, we're a, a digital first uh, uh, comic book company, and we have uh, various uh, licensed properties as well as our own um, uh, original properties. We have uh, on the license side, we have Miami Vice, Saved by the Bell, Punky Brewster, Airwolf, and Knight Rider. And uh, some of the titles we have in our originals, uh, we're working with Rampage Jackson. Uh, on Rampage Jackson Street Soldier, we have Chavo Guerrero from WWE fame. Uh, we also have titles like Quinn Credible and Roll Boy. Oh, it's very important for us. It's our opportunity to kind of see the fans. Uh, like I said, we are a digitally focused and uh, digital first company. So uh, actually, the, this is our opportunity. We actually have some print books available. Uh, for the fans, and it's kind of the first time ever, so it's a great opportunity to come by the booth and actually get something in print from us. And when you see people who get dressed up for this kind of event, does that inspire you to do things in the future that might be a little different, or is it just a matter of the experience? Oh, I actually, I absolutely love it. I'm actually waiting, since we're a newer company, I'm actually waiting for somebody to dress up as our characters. <laughs> so, as soon as I see that, they're going to get a great prize pack from us. <laughs> Hey, it's Monty again here at C2E2 Chicago. I'm here with Cara Nicole. Hi, how are you? Hello, Monty. How are you? Good. There's no T. It's actually Mani. Mani. It's a really Spun. weird name. M-O-N-N-I-E. Oh, it is Mani, because it yeah. could be like money. Yeah, it could be. Like, what up, money? What up? <laughs> So, it's good to see you. I, I follow you online. I'm a huge fan. I understand you have a huge following on the internet. How is that working out? You know, I got a little bit. A little, a little bit. Been around for a while. For, you're pretty much cosplay celebrity. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, no, thank you. <laughs> so, what is it like to be an internet celebrity? Well, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I, I like do stuff and things and... You know, people talk to me, and I'm like, hi, how are you? And yeah. Do you, do you find a lot of people recognize you on the street outside of costume? You know, more than I would think. <laughs> cool, cool. I, I could see that. It'd be. I don't know if I would recognize you outside of costume. Most people don't recognize me inside of costume. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah, is that girl around? Wait, that's you? What? Wait. Huh? <laughs> 
<laughs> That's funny. All right. Cool. Yes. Yeah. And it's really funny because I'm actually the Amara Tandris Magic card. Yeah, on, on the booster pack for the Dragon's Maze series, it's at like every Target and Walmart and everywhere, right next to the checkout, and nobody catches it. And they're all surprised, whoa, that's you. Yeah, that's me. That is a huge claim to fame. <laughs> I am not on any magic cards, unfortunately. You should be. I think this this is working for me. I This could happen. You hear that magic? Make it happen. Sexual chocolate card, this guy. <laughs> I don't know about that. We're going to edit that out. <laughs> don't edit that out. You keep that. That was awesome. So how is C2E2 going for you? Is this your first year here? No, I was here last year. I was here last year. Uh, I debuted my Harley Quinn. I wore my Phoenix and I wore Power Girl. This year I'm doing all different cosplays. Uh, it's a great show. I love the people here. It's a good community. I get to stay in Chinatown, which I love that there's signs everywhere that says, we will call the police. You do anything, <laughs> they're going to call the police. <laughs> It could be like for like good things too. They're gonna call the police and let them know. They're like you just helped someone cross the street. They're calling the cops. Calling the cops. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, just a little tangent there. <laughs> um, so, so uh, do you? What do you hope to accomplish at C2E2? Do you like to, to get people to get photos? Do you just like to, to to sell prints and stuff? Or like what exactly is your goal? Is there a specific goal? You just like to, to present yourself? Well, one day I hope to be working for you know Marvel or DC. Hint, hint. I'm a colorist as well. So uh, I've been doing a lot more with my colors. Uh, I've got my art prints and my cosplay prints. And I love meeting people. I love when people follow me. And they'll be like, hey, I brought you some dill pickle chips because they remember that like, that's kind of my thing. So that kind of thing really touches me, how many people remember who I am and follow me to the yeah. extent that they actually know what I like and what I'm about. Very cool. So where can someone follow you on the interwebs to find out what you're like and what you're about? Well, there's azpowergirl.com. There's Facebook slash azpowergirl. I'm azpowergirl pretty much everywhere. Twitter, Tumblr, uh, YouTube. I'm the azpowergirl. I don't know why. But yeah, azpowergirl everywhere. Like A-Z. Like Arizona Power Girl. Awesome. <laughs> and obviously today you're not dressed as Power Girl. I'm not. I'm digging the black cat. Um, this really has blown up. It's become the profile picture for other pages. And I've been on people's websites just out of nowhere. They don't know who I am, but this picture's everywhere. <laughs> and uh, I really enjoy it. Yeah, uh, so is there anything that you geek out uh, about when you come to the cons? You know, I go to a lot of them. So every once in a while, something will hit me. Some piece of art or some new creative you know, thing that's outside of the box. Like my neighbor here, they're gone. He's giving away free bananas. Who does that? That is awesome. And people will stop and they're like, hey, free bananas. Uh, and that kind of things. Things that are just different and, you know, out of the box. Awesome. Are, are you going to be involved in the uh, the cosplay tournament thing that happens tonight? Um, I honestly have no idea what's going on tonight. I really wish I was more involved in the cosplay community, but really a lot of times after these shows, I am back at the hotel and I'm doing color commissions all night. So if you have any original art or black and white art prints you need colored, I can do that. I will hook you up. Um, so, you know, I do what I can within the cosplay community. Um, most of my cosplay community stuff uh, is with my charity groups back in uh, Phoenix and the Arizona area. I'm still with the Justice League Arizona and I do work with them in the Arizona Avengers. But can you explain for people who do not know still what cosplay is? I have no idea. <laughs> We're grown-ups dressing in costume. It's not Halloween, but anymore you can do it for any reason. People have asked me, when, where do you dress up most? And I'll tell you, Circle K. <laughs> because I'm always stopping there somewhere to get, you know, a drink or a sandwich or something on the way to somewhere else. So where can you find me in costume most? Circle K. <laughs> All right. I'm All loving right. C2E2. You go visit everybody. Talk to the artists. Looking is free. <laughs> Look at their stuff. Not just down here, you know. One guy actually, funny story, comes up and he says, they're blue. I'm like, what? Your eyes. Actually, no, they're not. <laughs> you, you thought you are going to be all cool and slick, like, yeah, I'm not looking at your chest. I'm checking out your eyes. And then you got it wrong. Have you guys been to Comic-Con before in the past? Is this the first time for you? Uh, this is my second year okay. attending. Last year was my first. 
And this is my first year. Okay, and last year when you were here, was it the same kind of costume, or did you wear something different? I was New 52 Starfire from okay. Red Hood and that was. Okay, and did you come here dressed, or did you dress when you got here on property? You come here dressed. Okay. It's way easier. So did you get any looks while you were out, like, in the, on the freeway or on the... No, no we took a cab, <laughs> so it didn't have to do with, like, a lot of public <laughs> yesterday, so... A lot of people know that when you dress up, you're going to get a lot of attention. Like you're getting a lot of people who want to pose with you and take pictures. Um, is, is that living up to the expectation of what you anticipated in terms of dressing up as being part of the event? Yeah, um, I think when you decide to cosplay, you do become somewhat of an entertainer. Mm -hmm. So like you're there to like you know if you're someone's possible favorite character, and you know you want to be that character for that person. Okay. So I think that's for the part of the whole convention experience. Right. And do you cosplay outside of this event? Um, yeah. yeah, I have. I read to second graders the other day. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Hey, Monty here at C2E2 again with an amazing cosplayer. Hi, what is your name? My name is Ashley. Ashley, what are you dressed as? I am Cassie Hack from Hack Slash. Mm, Hack Slash, that is a comic book. Yes, it is. <laughs> the 10th anniversary of the comic book. We it... just had a panel this morning. Really? I missed it. <laughs> so, how did the panel go? It went well. A lot of fun. Got a new bat. Are you are you um, involved with the comic book at all, or just uh, a fan? I'm friends with the creator, so a little bit involved and a fan. Awesome. That seems to happen a lot in comics, more so than in other mediums, I think. Yeah, yeah. that's actually how I got into C two E two. Was I met him and we became friends, and now I go on cons and help him out at his table and cosplay. Awesome. And uh, did you design the costume yourself? This is actually from one of the last issues of Hack Slash. So I always pull my inspiration for my costumes from his art. Cool. And are there other costumes that you're going to be dressed up as today or throughout the rest of the con? I'll be a different Cassie outfit tomorrow. Perfect. Um, any, any great stories or memories from the convention so far? From this year, I'm just starting out. I've been busy working, so I haven't got to explore too much. So. But the panel was really fun. All right. Um, any shout outs you want to make to your neighbor pavilions or anything out there or any anything you want to plug? Um, come by ILG and see Tim Celia at the Hackslash table since you don't know what it is. <laughs> come check it out. Oh, I know what Hackslash is. Okay. I was just asking for those people I out was there. Gonna say, if you don't know what Hackslash is, you need to go read it. Uh, you, you should have hit me with a bat in the face if I didn't know who Hackslash was, right? Totally. Yeah, you would deserve that. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much.